So basically the challenge is to make something that's going to work effectively, quickly and get the job done nice and easy. We're going to start off with a plastic shovel, soldering iron, aluminium foil, some wire, cutters, glue gun, some wire to make a coil, a drill, hot melt glue, some detector bits and a circuit board, batteries, lithium ion batteries, and a coil former. Alright, we're going to need the elliptical shape, so just put that in the elliptical shaped holes. Right, that one can come out too. That one can go over here. Alright. Alright. We'll just start off by wrapping that around there, leaving a little bit of overhang. We can get some tape around this section here. And, oops, that shouldn't be that. Just do that 22 times and we have an elliptical shape. Alright, and we want to make sure we get some tape around that because it is spring loaded. As soon as you take it off, it'll make a mess and we don't want that. So we'll bind it up while we've got an opportunity. Nice tight bundle. Tighter the better. Let's go around the whole thing. Alright, now we have our detector coil. All we're going to do now is just scrape the insulation off the tips. Now we're just going to cut some strips of aluminium foil. This will help protect the coil from unwanted interferences. They call it a Faraday shield. For all those who want to read up about the Faraday shield. Well, that's basically it. Alright, leaving a gap at the ends there. Just fold, just twist that around. Let's get around the whole thing like that. Alright. Now we've made sure that the soldering iron is absolutely clean. We're just going to try and tint this first, make sure there's a proper connection. Do both. Same with the wires. Make sure we join them up. It's only temporary, so it doesn't matter. That'll do it. All right, to test it out, I hope it works. We've got the coil hooked up, we've got the headphones hooked up, we've got the trim port set. Now, we're using the Barracuda circuit board simply because it works well in mineralized salt water conditions. So this is the perfect coil for the job. And all we're going to do now is hook up the, the power. All right, I'll just show you. And it should fire up. Yeah. All right, it's fired up. That's good. When you get a noise from it, it's always a good sign. All right, now I've got a test piece. As you can hear, that's a nice solid signal, very good depth too. You could put anything in there, and you'll just see straight through it. Right, got to go over the whole thing with some silicon. Be warned, this stuff really sticks, so don't get it on your clothing. 
also be careful where you put your hands afterwards but you want to make sure that seals off really well but it can still bend and not crack because if it cracks it'll get water in and water in a detector coil creates havoc to say the least okay what I've done here is I've coated that with silicon and give it a good three layers of a good strong tape over the top of it now you've got to keep these two wires separate solder them and make sure they're not touching and completely seal this off with silicon now I'm going to just mark the position of this I'm going to start drilling some holes as you can see I've marked it all out so it's a nice shape, maintain the strength around here zip tied the coil on, that's all waterproof really well so no water can get in got a bit of a taper on that so it cuts through the sand and also a bit of grip so when you put your feet you can shovel it into the ground well alright now with the circuit what I've done so I've basically stuck the circuit to the other side of the power supply. Now we've got it's a homemade heat sink there. That little IC gets really hot. It's driven by that capacitor, that big black thing. So you need to get rid of some of the heat. Cover it in silicon. So if any water splashes on it, it's not going to die. Right. There's your trim pot, headphone jack, on and off switch. Now I've made these two wires different lengths because I don't want them shortened out. They can't touch each other, especially when you turn it on. Now, fire it up. Try it again. Alright, it's just fired up. All right, that's a very, very small gold ring. I'll just show you. As you can see, not much is going to escape. It worked just as well on the other side. Alright, you just got this bum bag that just straps around your waist. Just grab this, put it inside. Zip it up. Put your headphones in, hook up your coil. Switch it on, away you go. See that? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just going to bury that. Right now, I'm going to find it and sift it up in one action. It's right there. You can see it? Wet sand, dig a little hole, put the ring in the hole, cover it up.
One of the things I like about this detector is it's quiet. Easy to swing, very light, over a metal object, makes a good noise. Good solid tone there. No murmuring as it moves from wet sand into water. Complete quiet. That. Over a metal object or even on dry land. Very easy to swing. Over a metal object. Complete quiet as I move into the water. Just a background hum of the threshold. Nothing else. 